Hey gang, and welcome to this brave new world of ours. As you should know by now, our class is going to be moving exclusively online for the remainder of the semester. That will of course require a few changes along the way, but I'm sure we will all make the transition just fine. Speaking of transition, did it work? One of the biggest changes is how the schedule will work for the semester. Rather than keeping to our arbitrary day of the week the in-person class was on, we will be moving into something a bit more streamlined. Each Monday morning around 8 or 9 a.m., you should see the Week at a Glance video, just like this one, posted to the news section. In that video, I'll explain what's happening that week, including any assignments and reading you might have. It'll be super important to watch those videos each Monday so you know what's happening. Any and all homework assignments will now be due on Wednesdays and Fridays of each week. The due dates document should be updated shortly to reflect that, along with the course calendar. Typically speaking, informal assignments such as textbook readings or general discussion forums will be due on Wednesdays, and process writing assignments, which are materials for essays like outlines or bibliographies, will be due on Fridays. I'll explain the homework and due dates for each week in the Week at a Glance videos. Also on Wednesdays, I'll be posting a content lecture, which will be based on the writing stage for that particular essay, such as the brainstorming stage or the research stage. I'll be doing my best to keep those lectures short-ish, but you'll still need to watch them as they'll uh, help you with the content practice for that particular part of the essay. In fact, you should be sure to watch them before completing your process writing homework and turning it in. You can certainly get started on that homework early, but those content lectures should help you with the specific aspects of the assignments. I'm still working on a means for any sort of digital conference method that can still work for everyone, but that's pretty up in the air at this point. For now, emails are the best means of communication, and I'll likely be doing feedback through Microsoft Word's Track Changes interface. If you've never worked with that before, you might want to check out a YouTube tutorial. As for other aspects of the class, like homework cards or fiercely competitive Disney trivia games, I'll have to keep fiddling with ideas and see what can still work, but I'll keep you posted. That's all I have for this video. I'll have another video up on Monday for the new week. And remember, your natural sciences essay, the final draft, is due at 11.59 p.m. this Friday, the 20th, so be sure to get that turned in on time. Being late may cost you some points. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Until next time, wash your hands and take care.